This rice field near Palmetto, Louisiana looks similar to most rice fields found in the state. But with a closer look, subtle differences are noticed. The rice is growing in rows and there are no levees to hold water. It's called furrow irrigated rice or row rice. This method involves putting water on the field only when the soil is dry as opposed to maintaining a flood throughout the growing season. But it cannot be done just anywhere. It takes a unique setting uh, as far as a farming operation uh, and also soil type that's going to support this kind of uh, cult cultivation of, of rice. This is the third year Charlie Fontenot has grown row rice. Fontenot believes this method allows him to be more flexible with his operation and plant the crop that will give him the best return. When you prepare the ground for rice, it's, you pretty much set in stone when you got to plant your rice. This way, I mean, we've, plant, we've planted cotton in, in the rice field. You know, we've done that before. Corn, it doesn't matter. We can go with anything we want. A major advantage with row rice is the conservation it provides. The big thing is the carbon footprint that we're, uh, we're minimizing. You know, it's a uh, stewardship of the land. We're using 50 percent less water. Uh, therefore, we're using uh, less energy, uh, you know, with these diesel-powered engines uh, that they have on the farm here. One of the biggest hurdles with this technique involves managing nitrogen fertilizer, which is essential in growing rice. Fontenot is experimenting with application methods to help determine the best rates and timing for fertilization. It's common sense, you know you have volatility. You lose the nitrogen all the time. So we elected this year to do four spoon feeding increments, uh, I think, of 50 units at a time and uh, we'll see how that pans out. Last year, yields from Fontenot's row rice fields were equal to its conventionally flooded fields. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.